was popping man. So I want to tell you all about a dopamine detox I did and how it changed my perspective on life and my relationship with short-term gratification. And hopefully this will motivate you. No, I don't want to use the word motivate. This will fire a light inside of your eyes to really get on your grind. The beginning of this year, I watched Jordan Brown's video on dropshipping. I'll give a link down to his video below. And in the course, he, phenomenal course, phenomenal course by the way. If you're ever into dropshipping, that is the number one course I recommend. 18 hours for free, I definitely recommend it. But back to what I was saying, in the course he recommended people doing a reset. It was a one week dopamine challenge. And I was like, you know what? I'm always up for a challenge. I've, I've done dopamine detox before, why not? What made his stick out so much, much differently than others was, yeah, it was 16 things I had to do or I had to change for one week. Off the top of my head, if I can remember, it was no, what was it? No porn or masturbation, no drugs or alcohol, work out every single day, meditate for at least 10 minutes a day, read for at least 10 minutes a day, journal for at least 10 minutes a day, water, I think a gallon, at least a gallon of water a day, cold showers per day, no music, 30 minutes of sunlight in a day, a maximum of two hours on your phone, and a couple more things. If there's anything else, I'll put them on the screen. But I did this detox, and one thing I realized was that I had a lot of, I had so much more time because I wasn't wasting it anymore. And the thing is, I always had that time to begin with. What I mean by wasting it is, if I had something that I wanted to do, or I had a goal, I would put it off and I would, I would consume content, consume mindless entertainment, mindless TV shows. And it was putting me off of my, my grind and my vision. And so when that was turned off, my, my thoughts, the thoughts that I have for generating some form of some form of uh, business, some form of value for people, ways that I was able to do that was by doing this detox. And I suggest people do a dopamine detox at least once in their life, at least once this year. Okay. Now, if you want in the comments, I can make my own dopamine detox. I want it. I will make it very challenging because I want you to sh to show to you to nobody else just to yourself that you can do it now one thing i will say is that i've changed so much since my my illness uh you know i have stage three illness where my social life has taken a hit and i don't go out as much um, i don't it's forced me not to drink i can't drink as much because it'll inflame my body it'll caused me a lot of pain too, physical pain. And I've been isolated. But that during that isolation is where I was able to find myself because I had so much time alone with myself. People nowadays don't have any time alone with themselves. It's always, you're distracting yourselves when you have those uncomfortable thoughts, when you have that voice, that, that, that holy voice, that, that higher version of yourself calling down to you from below, telling you, yo, getting your stuff getting your grind and you don't do it it's because you know that it takes a lot of discomfort for you to get out of that struggle but how else do you get to see a butterfly if it, if it was in a cocoon phase you never would you got to be that butterfly for yourself i had an incoming call with one of my dogs but look as i was saying you become a butterfly to others as well. Close friends, family, people that you may not even think that you're in close proximity to will find a way to see your light. They will find a way to see you on your grind to your purpose. This could literally be the year that you change your entire life. All it takes is one year. It just takes dedicated focus. 
that's the number one thing you need. You need what well, one you need. You need you need God, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You do. You need whatever you believe in. You need to have that higher spirit. You need to have faith in yourself first. You need to have a vision for what you want. You need to know who you are to know who you want to be. You don't get to know who you are if you're just distracted by vices or on, always on social media, just mindlessly scrolling on, 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 on TikTok or Instagram, consuming entertainment. There's two people in this world, there's producers and there's consumers. And once I realized I've been a consumer my entire life, I knew I had to change. The only way for me to change was by being a, a producer. There's a, there's a free digital product that I'm going to create for y'all. And it's going to cover the hierarchy of interpersonal relationships and the different stages that lead to legacy. And one of the stages is impactful communication. And I'm creating it with ChatGPT. I may do a different, I don't know, I don't know about Gemini because all the stuff I've been hearing about been going crazy. But the idea behind this is was for me to make a personal assessment to see what level of communication I'm on so I could reach that legacy, that, that deep impactful legacy. And currently, we, we did a personal assessment, and I determined that I was on stage, impactful communication. And the only way for me to be impactful is by speaking in front of a camera. Why? Because the camera's leverage. I can talk to hundreds, thousands of millions of people rather than me just talking one-on-one -on -one in person. So when I think of people who have legacy, First person that comes to my head, Kobe. And why was he so impactful to people was his mentality. You have to have that, that mom mentality, bro, in life. Whatever you do, you have to be obsessed with it. I am obsessed with bettering myself. I am obsessed with knowing how far I can take it, like how far I can, how much I can improve, how many lives I can impact, how much value I can create, how much generational wealth I can secure for my family, how much love I could get to the world. You gotta want that for yourself. You have one life. I don't think you understand. You have one life. Earlier in the beginning of my videos, maybe it might've been my second or third video, I butchered a quote that I heard that change my perspective on procrastination today i hope i can give it justice but i'm going to repeat that quote again the quote goes as such procrastination is the pure arrogance that god will give you a second chance to do today no god will give you a second chance to do tomorrow what could be done today we think that we never we think that we're immortal we think that we won't die we think that time is infinite even though we know it's not. We have this fallacy that, oh, I can wait, I can put it up. But like in that Rocky movie, what did he say? There is no tomorrow. It's only right now, only the present. You have to be the person that you want to be. And you cannot be that person by allowing yourself to be undisciplined, allowing yourself to be unfocused, allowing yourself to falter on your goals, your future self is going to be disappointed and he is going to be filled with regrets. He or she is going to be filled with regrets. I don't want to be the person that's laying on a deadpan, not just filled with the ghost, not just filled with the my family or friends, but as Denzel said, the ghost of your unfulfilled potential. I don't want to be surrounded by ghosts of unfulfilled potential. If if life for me is like, if, if our souls are like a towel, right? Or our potential is like a towel and the amount of the amount of water that comes out is the, is the unfulfilled potential you had. I don't want there to be anything left. That's how much sweat and blood and tears I put into this. I don't want there to be anything left. And so the only way I could get there is by remaining focused, by having a step, having an edge on my former self, not nobody else, because I'm only in competition with me. And I'm not looking to the left lane. I look to the right. I did indoor track before. Junior year. And one thing they tell you is, don't look left. Don't look right. Don't look behind you when you're running. Focus on the goal. Be tunnel vision on getting there as quick as possible. With me and my goals, 
I'm not focused on getting there as, as, as quick as possible. I'm focused on getting there as whenever, it, when, however long it takes. But I'm focused on being true to myself in the process and by being the person who does not falter on their morals or principles along the way. If you want something done, you, you can, if you want something done quick, do it alone. That's not the great way to say it. If you want to co- accomplish a goal fast, do it alone. But if you want to get far, do it with other people. Surround yourself with like-minded people. You got to surround yourself with people who think like you, man. And with me, I've been isolated, but I still have close people I talk to. I don't talk to a lot of people. I really don't. Like, I can't. Like, if I'm at a party, or I'm at a social event. I know how to, you know, use my mouthpiece or use 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 my social skills to engage in conversations and make make the, the conversations meaningful and deep or how whatever you know whatever I want it to be. But when I'm by myself and I'm isolated and I'm alone and I'm at home, I'm still able to have good influences around me, people with good character. We have deep conversations all the time. So so I ensure people to have good conversations, man. You, if if it's your if your friends is talking about the past, you gotta leave them alone because they stuck there. You gotta go in the future. You gotta go in the future. The time is now. Like you do not have any time to waste. And I'm talking to you, but it's some, I feel like I'm talking. It's also me talking to myself too. Like there's no time to waste. There's no time to waste. Like none. You have to get out there right now. And all it it doesn't take much. Like like settling for a nine to five or the life that you don't want waking up and repeating, doing that every day just to live below, like just to struggle to live. Like, I don't want to struggle to live. I don't want to just survive. I want to thrive. And the only way for me to do that is by diving deep in my within myself, knowing what it is I want to do, who I want to become in the process. No, not focus on what I want to do. Focusing on who I want to become and who to serve, how to get there, and prioritizing tasks I need to get done daily to get there. That's it. People give life hacks. There is no life hack to this life. There is no there is no life hack in the playbook of life, man. It's you know what you gotta do. It's either you do it or you don't. And Nike like hit it on the mark when they said just do it. Not gonna lie, they did. Because there's nothing else to it. So that's why I say seize the day. Don't focus on tomorrow. Don't focus on yesterday. The hardest day to get through is today. Focus on today. Build a better you today to see a better you tomorrow. Continue planting seeds that your future self will benefit from. You want to eat the, from the fruits of your labor, don't you? Don't you? Don't you want to have a, a massive garden to eat from? A massive garden that other people can eat from as well? The people that you care about? Do it now. Or suffer later. It's your choice. So with that being said, I'm out, bro. See you today.